Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I am working on a project uh, for the backyard for advertising. So we have uh, 250 inch screens, 16.9 coated with our advanced ambient light projection Black Phoenix 19. This is actually, like I said before, it uh, was one of the darkest screens we developed. Uh, next in line, uh, last screen would be the final uh, Phantom, Black Phantom, and that screen is actually darker than the Phoenix. But just to show you how dark the Phoenix is, it is quite a very, very dark screen. And as I said before, be careful out there because, like I said, you have other people out there trying to make, um, we're trying to make black screens and keep in mind at the end of the day, like I said, if it's not true black, then it's not a black screen. It should be like an OLED look to it, very dark to it. And I've seen screens out there that look like they're gray, so or dark gray, but as I said at the end of the day, yeah, um, be careful because like I said, what you want is a 100% black screen. All right, so what we have here is uh, one of the screens. I'm gonna show you downstairs in the basement. The other one is drying right now, finishing up. And we're gonna be having these outside, side by side. So we can do demonstrations on white projection screens versus our black technology. Why you do not wanna go with a white screen, why you wanna stay with a black screen, whether if it's inside or out. That's one of the 150s right there on the floor already painted. So we're gonna build this really cool screen setup. It's gonna have two of them side by side. By the size of the 150 inch, it's gonna be a 235.1 because it's actually gonna be shorter in height and longer in length. All right, so I'm gonna do a few demonstrations on contrast levels. And this is why at the end of the day, uh, our technology that we uh, specialize in, and as I said before, I'm an expert in this field when it comes to black technology because I've been developing for quite some time, uh, way back since 2015. And show you exactly how amazing this product is going to be. All right, and as I said before, at the end of the day, contrast is everything. The gray screen paint products, gray projection screens, will never be able to keep up with the black technology screens uh, due to the fact that they can produce contrast levels and colors. And with our technology, with that heightener capability, our screens produce amazing white levels. So let's start off with contrast. Now this surface used to be a white screen, around 48 inches outdoor projection screen with built-in crummets. Um, how we got it this way was basically, as I told people before, that when you're doing a fabric screen, you wanna make sure you put on two coats of paint to make sure the screen absorbs in as much paint as possible. That way you don't have any uneven spots on the screen. And then you coat over with our amazing technology. Now the demonstration, we're just using a Chrissy We'll pause this for a minute so you can see the projector is in the back. So we're just using a Chrissy uh, LW, LW401. Uh, this is an outdated projector. Uh, they do make them, you can still find them, but they don't, they've been discontinued, but you can find the older ones uh, up on eBay from time to time. This projector is only 720p. That's it, no 4K, no 1080p. Now, if you're interested in seeing the outside demonstration, I'll put a link below where you can actually watch one of these screens outside on display. We had the same projector we're using inside in the demonstration, and we're outside around 551 in the evening hours uh, doing some demonstrations on the 150 Phoenix. Now, one of the things I tell people when you're doing uh, black screens, one of the most important things is to have black paint and because we do demonstrations against black paint showing that our screens are different from black paint that's going to show a different a brighter a white level but also too when you're doing these demonstrations you must have both these materials next to each other both the formulas best of the formulas but both of these liquids next to each other uh, so you can see that both of them are black screens well i'm saying that black screens but black paint So you want them to be the exact same color, as what well, I'm trying to say in a better way of putting it. You want them to be the exact same color. And that way, you don't have to worry about one screen being dark gray and another screen being actually black. Which I'm gonna show you in another demonstration 
side by side to our Cinema Gray, or actually I think it's the Cinema uh, Gamer uh, screen paint next to one of our black acoustic screens. I guess Cinema Gamer looks really, really black. It's actually, it looks really dark, dark black, but it's actually a dark gray screen. Use the Wawa app to fuel up and get 15 cents off per gallon. Just use the app to pay. Now the most important thing for a contrast black screen is its white levels. Not contrast. It can automatically pull contrast automatically. And the screen must be a true black screen, not dark gray. OLED demonstration. Getting that from YouTube.
J and K, 4K. Getting that from YouTube. amazing white level capabilities or screen paint.
G snowboarding. Getting that from YouTube. LG snowboarding. Getting that from YouTube. Let me do that one a little longer. Demonstration attached to it. Because the Phantom is the more superior black train, doesn't mean the Phoenix is anything to laugh at. The Phoenix holds its weight. It is quite impressive. different than that but do I use this one right here so as you can see this is why we had the screen half displayed so you can see the screen is actually a black screen not a dark gray screen which is something you got to be careful and watch out for that's why we do the demonstration side by side the black paint so you can see that both uh, of them are basically black and that's why we do the demonstration it's black paint versus a product fabric versus a product so you can see there's a difference so it takes a long while to develop black technology some people think they can do it overnight nah it doesn't work They would be able to pass all the tests under our products, including the uh, Phoenix. And when you display a screen on a star field, it's never supposed to come up gray, it's supposed to come up black. The screen remains black regardless. demonstrations screensavers getting that from YouTube
I did this demonstration. I did this demonstration. Excuse me, outside at 151. Sorry, 150 inch, 169 at around 5 o'clock, 5.54, sorry, 5.51, sorry, in the uh, evening hours at 150 inches of full screen. Create a coffee masterpiece with Keurig's new smart brewer with Brew ID. Let's see if we can get something low down on the line that we haven't used already. Try to choose demonstrations we haven't done already. Now mind you, all this is being done with an outdated projector. Um, my projector was discontinued in 2014, or 2014, I think it was around so. Um, and this is only 720p only. No calibrating, no dark environments, none of that. I don't like to use high-end projectors because when you use high-end projectors, I notice in a lot of demonstrations that I watch on a day-to-day -day basis that they need these high-end projectors to make the screen look good. Where I can use a cheap 720p projector and achieve a magnificent picture. My customers at the end of the day do not want to be sitting there calibrating the projector and they do not want to be stuck in the dark. Now we have the uh, Black Phoenix available in one quart, two quarts, one gallon, I think we have it in two gallons. It's a one coat application. You can spray it on or you can roll it on, it's up to you. Now I'm going to put the model number of the projector I'm using in the demonstration. Feel free to look it up online or go to Projector Central and check it out. See how much the uh, projector specifications on the projector. Like I said, basic 720p. And with it being an older, outdated projector, well, it's going to be a lot cheaper. You don't have to have the requirements of 4K or 1080p if you don't want to. I like to be up close on the screen so I can show you even closer look at the performance of the product. Now, of course, in all my videos, I love to say, I like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing us with, with such amazing technology. We're only able to do this is because of Him. At the end of the day, this is not my own work. I give all my credit to my Lord and Savior. It's the one that gave me the ability to be able to design amazing products. Now the screen paint is available with free worldwide shipping and like I said you can paint just about anything you want. Uh, we just did two fabric 150 inch screens uh, once i'm done with this project here because this is going to be part of a side-by-side -side dual 150 inch screen setup for the backyard I have two big screens side by side i can do one projector on one screen one on another or i can basically just go in and just basically do a massive 235.1 all the way across so several so level a lot of options i can work with it So we're gonna do a motorized projection screen. Oh wait, we have a motorized projection screen downstairs. We have a Phoenix Black 
uh, motorized projection screen. I'm doing a inflatable screen surface. Now, if you're gonna do inflatable screens, just keep in mind it has to be front projection only. Do not wanna use this on front and rear. Lights out really doesn't make a difference. Like I said, the technology is using our advanced ambient light rejection technology game. Um, pretty much really doesn't make a difference. We can have lights on or off. It's not going to affect the screen in any way whatsoever. I mean, these screens can pull up outside around 5 something. About 550 outside, inside is pretty much a kickwall for the technology.
fan. No 1080p, no 4K required. That's how beautiful that image comes up. That means any customer who has a 1080p projector is going to get a much better screen than me. Any customer that got a 4K projector is going to have an advanced screen. Any customer with a 720p projector is still going to get an outstanding picture. Now keep in mind we do not support knockoff projectors as I said before. This will not support knockoff projectors will not support under a screen paint. Why we consider black technology to be a future that's why the gray screen paint products out there on the market great projection screens white screens we consider those to be relics of the past and I told you many many times in demonstrations eventually they're going to come to their senses and try to develop a black screen they have to because as I said at the end of the day and they know their products are basically going obsolete. But keep in mind at the end of the day, we're the experts. It takes lots of testing to develop black technology, to perfect it. And of course, I always say it takes faith in God. That's what I believe, 100%. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I thank you all for your time. If you're interested in our dark technologies, screen paints, check us out on our website. If you've got any questions, email us, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thank you all for your time. Oh, I keep forgetting, we do add in, we do have free worldwide shipping for those that email us and ask us about shipping. Shipping's free, anywhere you live in the world. All right, have to go. Thank you for your time, and God bless.